Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. We're out here high speed trolling, see if we can catch some wahoo, maybe some tuna, try to get some bottom fish. It's a gorgeous day out, it's flat, it's like a lake, 60 miles offshore, so I think it's gonna be a good day. Nice uh, technique on the driving there. Nice, nice, nice work. Man. I don't know if he was gonna want it more, but I was like, maybe I'll get lucky. You know, when, he, when he nibbled on it, yeah, I'm gonna set the hook with the boat. Hey. Yeah. See, the captain can do everything from the steering wheel. I just need an electric reel and then uh, press a button and reel him in from the steering wheel. That would be nice right now. Yeah. Got a little head shake. Yeah. Down to the last thousand. You seen the marking? Mark coming up. There we go. Getting close. It's uh, 9 o'clock now. It's about 8.55 an hour. It's 7.55 when we drop them in. Yeah. Get a little water right there. Yeah. Good. Sometimes you just gotta go to the extreme measures. That's why you always run plenty of food. Uh, there's, there's still a fish on there, I can assure oh, yeah. you. You ready? Bill, that's a solid fish. Yeah. You got the, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a good fish, whatever it is. I'm hoping it's a who baby. All right, we're coming up to the leader. Right, it's spinning. What is it? What is it? Uh... What is that? Yeah. Uh huh. On the Mag Bay Sincero. Kind of made sense when he was nibbling it. Uh, yeah. Kind of like bite, bite, bite. Yep. So I sped up the boat and it hooked him. But uh, it's okay. It wasn't the Wahoo we were hoping for with the Amberjack. Good practice run. Yeah. Good rehearsal. All right, well, there we go. Practice run. Get back on the troll and see what we can get. All right, guys, we made our way out here to the uh, ledge. Nothing on the Wahoo yet, but we're marking some good baits. We're gonna drop down and see if we can't find some triggers. Today we got uh, a couple different things we're experimenting with. Uh, three types of hooks. Some a little smaller, a little stronger. I think they'll work good for triggers. And a couple different rigs. I rigged some up, and my dad rigged some up. And we're gonna see what works. So we're gonna get down on it and see what happens. Tell you what we find out. They are waiting. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good fish, whatever it is. And another one. Queen? Yeah. Big old queen snapper. And they got some teeth on them. They got like two big old canines. I like it when we get into them in that 120 versus that 180, don't you? Yeah. You can usually get them back in before the time zone changes. Yeah, throw them in that bait bucket. Regular trigger. You got a queen again or not? Yeah, it does. Regular trigger, thank you, Liam. Three for three on some kind of species of trigger. Yeah. Nice. Double. Double, double. 
past. Two good ones. I think I doubled up. <laughs> Is it really 30? Yeah. Oh, that, that'd be awesome. Oh, yeah. I can see how those things would rob you blind if you didn't have the right hook. Oh yeah. They just protect it. Look at that. Imagine that was your finger. Yeah. Woof. Yeah. I think the small hooks are That's the way to go. Small it and then they'll get hooked and the big ones will just rob you blind. I think you're right. Oh man, that's a solid fish. You got a solid one? I went to jerk back and he didn't move. There, there was no back to it. Yeah. When you pull them, they don't move. It's like rhyming fish. Put that hook. Oh man, I hope it's not like a, a jack or something. It's a good one, I think. You got a good one? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think you got me or something. Do I? Yeah. Need some line? All right. Uh, hang on, you still uh, you got a little more slack? More? Yeah. Yeah, how's that? Ah, come on, man. Dang. What I've been doing is I, I'll let it sit for a second when I get one on, see if I can get a second. Yeah, I've tried that a couple times. Did you, did you break your line like your mind? It didn't work out. I mean, I have one on for sure, but I haven't been able to double up yet. What have y'all been getting them on? I've been getting mine on cut beta. It's been back and forth for me is squid and yeah, a, mainly right. cut bait though. Whatever I, like I use though, they don't stay down there long before I get a bite. I mean, well, that's the thing, yeah. My last couple have been squid, but I'll try a piece of cut bait and a piece of squid. Oh. <laughs> He's got to be. You want me to get the gaff? Yeah, I think we're going to need a gaff. Yeah. Are you gonna need a gas? Is you that big? <laughs> that's a good one. Look at the size. Is that thing? That's a gray too. Isn't it? Grab them. Right. Big old fat gray. Yeah. Oh yeah. Is it true? Uh, hook in the hands worth more than two in the bush. <laughs> I think it is. Two in the bush doesn't hurt as much. Yeah. Unless it's a thorny bush. That's a good one. That's a, I don't know, at least 18, maybe 20. Mine was 15, and he seems well bigger than that. He's large. Well, so far, guys, all the hooks seem to be doing well. Rigs are generally doing well. I guess it's just a good bite. But uh, we'll keep at it. Fish are biting good, getting a lot of triggers. So that's good. Got a good drift. That's really good. That's blackfin, isn't it? I think it's blackfin. I think that was black, right in front of you. Tuna right in front of you? I think that, I've seen one, they're jumping out of the water. I think that it was blackfin. Like blackfin. Yeah. All right, guys, got some tuna activity in front of us. Yeah, I hope we got the end of that. I don't think a hammerjack would waste his time on a little fly. I hope not, anyway. Yeah, he's coming in. Okay. Uh, whatever he is, he's tuna. Yeah, he's just on the tuna. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Hey, we just talked red. Yeah. Really? Back to that. Skipper. Yeah. I think that's the first skip that I've seen up here. Yeah, they're good to eat. A lot of people eat them, yeah. I think it, I think it's a might be my what is it? Come up. Is it tuna? Is it a bernita? Uh-uh. Yeah. Got a way back, guys. 
Fish busting is good. It's where the Ross report said there was some good action. And uh, we did good here last week. What's that? Uh, there was some in front of us. Yeah, right, right, right to the right. That's a good one. I think those are, this has got to be black fin. Ooh, very good scoop from Yeah. Uh, I think so. You feel, feel in there? Alrighty guys, got some lines out for tuna. Is he still on there? Yep. Look to your right. Oh, oh, something hit way back. Yeah, way we back. got way on. Way him. back, Joel. Is he on? Yeah, he's on. Go ahead, I got yeah. you. <laughs> now he's splashing way back that, there. That's a that's a mahi. Yeah. That's uh, a dolphin. Well, you gotta go. I'll go over you and. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, 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 Liking the motors. Oh, that's a mahi. Oh, the mahi, all right. Yeah, keep it, keep it too. You ready? Here we go. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and Jeremy's is bigger, I believe. You guys? What do you think? Yeah, well, we see, we've been seeing tuna busting and looks like we got some mahi on. Is that a Ballyhoo mahi there? No, this is a rattle jet. And that was a little fly and I don't know if Ballyhoo got hit. It's still out no. there, though, huh? Yeah. We got two belly here out. Yeah. Right. Uh, you, come come over, come over on this yeah, side, Jeremy. Yeah. And then I will. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. You ready? All right. There nice. You go. Nice shot. There you go. There you go. There we go guys, a little more action now with some mahi. Alright guys, fish on. Yeah. Right, the last time we came out we thought we'd be able to rest when we drove. <laughs> And we just put that rattle jet right out, and then boom, fish on. Just caught two mahi. That's a shinier fish. What is that? Tuna, maybe? Skipjack, blackfin. Bonita? Ah. Old Bonita. A little worthless piece of boat. First Bonita. Yeah. What do you think that was a big school of flying fish or something they were tearing up or what? Yeah. I don't know where he went. They're chasing a lot of bait. Uh, I don't know what kind of bait. A lot of it like glass fish. Yeah. But you got to figure that the bigger fish, the wahoo, they eat those ma small wahi and tuna and everything else. All right, guys, we're back on some other bottom numbers. Got another trigger fish. Triggers, uh, they like this area. Seem like this deep water. And our rig's working pretty good today. Is that your grind or mine? Yeah, don't get 
<laughs> so, you, you sure it's mine? <laughs> Not it. Um, I've been liking the hooks. I mean, I feel like they're uh, pretty good. I mean, they're strong and they seem to be hooking up. I and mean, when they when they hook up, they uh, stay on generally. Yeah. Yeah. Is that spinner working good, I guess, for uh, bottom fishing? Yeah, it does good. It's, I think it's got a better turn to line ratio for trees. Yeah. On it. I just need a little skipper rod up there. Okay, guys. Well, it's a good day on the water. Didn't find the wahoo, but we did catch a lot of trigger fish, some mahi, some tuna. Had Brad here. Helped us put the smack down on some triggers. Another another great trip with real hazardous. Yeah. Beautiful day. Couldn't ask for better better weather and yeah. better uh, better company. Right. So we still have one mysterious fish that we have to figure out. Right. Uh, what it is? It uh, it was tile looking. Um, mm -hmm. We're really not. We don't think it was a tile fish, but we're gonna do a little research and post some we'll pictures. Get back with you. And let you know what it is. That's right. But uh, yeah, beautiful day on the water. Out here. We're fixing to scoot in to see what these 300s will do and uh, go from there. Is that right, Dad? Better than the best day at work, I can tell you. Right. Beats a day at work. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.